Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a summer cook with me, not just one like dinner recipe. It's gonna be a few different little summer recipes um, that I figured I would share with you guys. You guys know I love cooking. I came out with like a summer recipes um, cookbook with like 25, 24, 25 different recipes on there, but I also want to share with you guys recipes here. So I'm sharing with you today some sweeter options, uh, a toddler, couple of toddler snack ideas, um, a dinner recipe that I'm actually about to make right now. So if you guys enjoy videos like these, definitely give it a thumbs up um, and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. My name is Haley. I do all kinds of motherhood, lifestyle, cook with me's, um, all kinds of different types of videos on this channel. So I'd love it if you would subscribe. Also, today's video is going to be a mix of voiceover and me talking you through kind of what I'm doing as well. I asked you guys on, over on Instagram because that is my easiest tool for gauging like and asking polls. It's just all right there and it's super fast and easy. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you are if you want to be in on um, the polls and letting me know like what content you want to see more of and what things you like um, or prefer. So a lot of you guys preferred a mix of voiceover and talk through. So that is what I am doing in today's video. The first recipe I'm sharing with you is this delicious and easy chocolate fondue dip. You can dip fruits in there, pretzels, cookies, biscotti, anything you want. It is so delicious, so easy. And then I am also showing you these easy pineapple boats that are so cute for summertime entertainment or just fun in general. First things first, I was making these pineapple boats. I'm sure you've seen them before nothing new here but i just think that they are so cute for holding salsas dips um fruit salad like i did for the summertime and kids love the look of them they're like a fun little themey kind of party thing so basically just chop the pineapple in half and then i took a knife and kind of mapped out where i was going to carve um, all of the pineapple fruit meat out of and then I took a spoon and kind of wedged in the first side didn't come out so pretty I kind of smushed the pineapple so just wedge your knife in and then um it doesn't really matter what I guess it looks like because then I ended up cutting it up for other purposes anyway I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light glass was half empty but you came along and showed me how to love without limits to have a good time my glass was always half empty but now you're in my life now moving on to the chocolate fondue dip that is so so simple but so amazingly delicious a nice really yummy treat um, it is using some heavy cream and semi-sweet chocolate chips you'll also need sour cream for this recipe as well so what I did was just pour some heavy cream in a jar and then I microwave this you can also do this over um, like on the stove but I was just taking the simple route so I microwaved it until it was really steaming and had a little bit of bubbles kind of boiling around the edges so it was hot enough to melt chocolate chips essentially so then I just dumped some semi-sweet chocolate chips in a bowl and then I poured the steaming hot cream over the chocolate chips and you can do um, to whatever consistency you like I liked it to be a little bit thinner than I would actually want it because it did settle up just a little bit 
And then I added a dollop of sour cream and I've tried it with and without the sour cream and honestly I like it better with. It just takes a little bit of the bitterness of the semi-sweet chocolate out of it and it makes it really smooth and creamy. You guys, this dip is so easy and delicious. You can make it ahead of time. It sits at room temperature very well. You can reheat it. Um, you can store it in the refrigerator or freezer. It's a delicious, easy summertime treat. It doesn't have to just be summertime, but you know, serving it with some fruit make you feel a little better. Next, I'm sharing with you a three ingredient pina colada ice cream. Sydney and I enjoy this so much and it is definitely super easy. Um, first I am freezing some pineapple and banana chunks in my stasher and these don't take too long to freeze. Um, but I did prepare them a couple of hours ahead of time. The third ingredient you will need is cream of coconut, and this is so good. I could just drink this stuff. I know that sounds gross, but it's really good. Um, so just the frozen pineapples, a little bit of frozen banana, and the banana is really there to just add creaminess. Um, I would definitely do more pineapple than banana um, if you're making it, no matter what. It's going to come out amazing because all three ingredients are really yummy. Um, so frozen pineapple, frozen banana, and then a nice heaping... <laughs> squeeze of the cream of coconut definitely use a food processor if you have one i didn't on this day that i filmed it i got it in a few days later so i just used a blender and then i also added a little bit of water just to make it blend smooth um, and it ended up being like a really soft smoothie type texture so i would just do a little tiny bit of water at a time so since mine was so smooth, I didn't want to have it as a smoothie. I ended up putting it in a container and in the freezer to freeze back up. Most likely you won't have to freeze it like I did. My blender just does not blend well, so I had to add a lot of water to get it to blend. So definitely use a food processor if you have one, like I said, or maybe you have a better blender than mine. Anyway, I ended up freezing it for a couple of hours and then was able to scoop it into a bowl and it was so delicious. De delicious. It definitely tasted like a pina colada. It was so yummy. Tell me how it is. Um, uh Mm. Yummy. Mm. It's yummy. And now my mama. It is yummy. And now she eats one strawberry yogurt. So now she eats the fruit. Okay, so let's get started. And I'm sure most of you know about yogurt bark, and I've shared an entire like little Sydney cooks with me with yogurt bark last year, but I thought I would throw it in this video since we made it on the same day. Um, I just had Sydney in the kitchen and she literally made this yogurt bark all by her, well, with my help. <laughs> we just spread some Greek yogurt. This happened to be strawberry Greek yogurt out on some parchment paper um, on a cookie sheet. And then I had her sprinkle on some fruit. We had raspberries and blueberries and then also some sliced almonds. There are so many variations of yogurt bark that you can do. You can do so many different things with them. She's been eating it all week. You just pop it in the freezer and then afterwards you break it up and leave it in a container and I just store it in a container um, in the freezer and Sydney's obsessed with it. You can do, like I said, any different versions of this, but it is a nice, tasty toddler treat, any, any child treat, honestly. Never.
I'm about to start dinner, like I said, and I'm gonna be making a lemon basil, what is it, couscous. It's supposed to be a lemon basil orzo pasta, but they didn't have any orzo anywhere that I went, so I'm gonna be using couscous instead, which is completely fine, but if you can find orzo, this recipe will be so good with orzo. So anyway, I'm gonna make a lemon basil, chickeny, chickeny, a lemon basil, couscous meal. Don't forget if you guys make any of my recipes, anything that I share um, here on YouTube, then tag me on Instagram in your stories. I will reshare it to my stories as well. And yes, I hope you guys enjoy this. So the first thing I'm doing is just preparing the couscous um, according to the package. Now I'm just gonna cook chicken with a little bit of olive oil and I'm just gonna cook the chicken through, so only a few minutes. In a skillet, I heated some olive oil and then I seasoned the chicken with salt and pepper as well as garlic powder. And then I just cooked the chicken through. I know I said that just two seconds ago, but I cooked the chicken through, um, flipped it on both sides, and then I chopped up some onion and some garlic. Um, once the chicken is thoroughly cooked through, I'm going to um, take it off the heat and then I'm gonna throw in this chopped up onion and garlic. I have like two cloves of the garlic and then, a... so it's, I'm cooking just for two, so just remember that. If you guys are cooking for more, um, obviously use more ingredients. But I have like a quarter of an onion, quarter of a yellow onion, and then two cloves of garlic chopped up. I have four, well like three and a half, this one's a baby, little chicken tenders. You can use chicken breast, whatever chicken you like. Um, but that is just personally what I am using. Do you guys like garlic as much as I do? I love garlic. And my neighbor actually just told me that garlic, if you eat a lot of garlic, um, apparently, like I'm obviously like your skin might start smelling like garlic, but apparently it wards off mosquitoes. So all the better excuse to eat more garlic and I don't have a significant other who has to smell me all day, so. All right, chicken is done at this point. I'm just gonna take it off the heat. I don't want it to be tough or anything. Okay, I'm gonna throw a little bit of butter in the pan just so that I have some liquid to cook out. The <laughs> liquid to cook the um, garlic and onion in. Again, I have like a quarter of a yellow onion and then a couple of garlic cloves. So we have the onions and garlic pretty much um, translucent and softened at this point. So now I'm going to deglaze the pan with a little bit of wine. So I really have never cooked with wine much. I think I've only made a few recipes ever with wine. So this is sort of new to me, but I just basically went to the grocery store and found a dry wine and I don't, I'm not a wine connoisseur, but I can read some signs that tell me <laughs> this is a dry section. So I just picked up some of this, it's a Sauvignon Blanc. And I know like every cooking show that I've ever watched says, um, cook with wine that you would drink. So if it's a good drinking wine, it's a good cooking wine. By the way, this recipe is inspired by something that I saw on Pinterest. And of course I always get some inspo like on recipes and what to cook, but then I always make it my own. Um, and I do remember specifically since I don't cook with wine a lot, I do remember their recipe said one cup of wine, but I'm going to do like three quarters cup of wine since I'm cooking for two of us. And then we're gonna also, we're gonna pour it in and then let it reduce. Let me see. What wine are we cooking with here? I'm not really a Sauvignon Blanc person. I don't know, I like red wine, I like sweet wine, I like Pinot Grigio sometimes, but. All right, so we are outside and I'm going to pick some of my basil because my bush is definitely needing it. And we are cooking, again, like I said, lemon basil, um, couscous chicken dinner. So I'm gonna harvest some of my basil. And in case anyone cares how to harvest your basil, you can look at one of the main stems and 
You see how this one has two little sprouts over on their left and the right, right here and here? You just clip, snip it right here. And then it will stop growing from where my finger is. It will stop growing from where my finger is, um, my pointer finger. And then it will put all of its energy into the little side, side arms. And you have a nice chunk of basil. So our wine has been reduced quite a bunch. So I'm gonna just take a half a lemon and then squeeze some lemon juice into um, our pot, our pan here to make that sauce. And then I harvested the basil and I washed it and now it's kind of like drying just a little bit. And I made sure I rinsed it really well. Oh, it's so fragrant and amazing. Okay, so juice of a half a lemon is going in there. Um, let me just show you guys what the sauce looks like once it's reduced quite a bit. Abracadabra. Oh, this lemon's it's big. Yeah, so now there's like hardly any sauce in there. It's very, very much so reduced. You can totally smell the flavors of the wine, but the liquid itself is completely reduced. Mmm, that is really good sauce. Maybe a tiny bit more pepper, but I'm gonna put some pepper over the top, like when I mix everything all in. All right, so I'm actually gonna skip adding salt because I'm gonna add a little Parmesan in there, but I will add some more cracked pepper. Lemon and pepper is such a good flavor combo. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan and I'm actually gonna add in the basil now. What do you call this, chiffonade? I could be totally butchering that term, but where you roll it up and then cut it. And we have like small strips instead of big chunks. So I added in the basil to wilt and topped it with some lemon zest as well as some shredded Parmesan and I mixed everything all up. You guys, this dinner was so yummy. I highly suggest you trying it. It's got like a bright flavor but a little bit of creaminess from the couscous mixed with Parmesan cheese. It was so delicious and I definitely will be making it again. So I hope you guys enjoy it if you do make it yourself. It is the end of the evening and I thought I would make a little summer cocktail. The only thing I have on hand is either that wine or this little tiny bit of citrus vodka. So I figured I would make a drink with citrus vodka tonight. Just a very simple like spritzer-y type of a drink. So I'm just going to walk you through it. I don't even know. I hope it's good. Um, if it's not, I'll let you know too. Lemon juice, a little vodka, citrus vodka. Decided to get blackberries at the grocery store today, so I'm gonna pop some blackberries in there. And then my plan, I have some simple syrup. I'm gonna do a dash of simple syrup. And then I'm gonna kinda like smush the berries just a little bit. And then I'm gonna top it with some seltzer. Some lemon seltzer would be the best. This happens to be lime seltzer, but since I'm working with a citrus vodka, like. Um, this vodka has a lemon and a lime on it. Why not? A little cocktail to end the evening with. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this summer, like, cook with me in Sydney type of a video. A little bit different that I would share with you just more than just, like, a one dinner on a cook with me. Um, but if you guys want to see more of these videos, I have so many more recipes I want to share. I will definitely share them in vlogs here and there as well, but I would love to do more um, designated like cook with me's if you want to see those otherwise I'll share them in vlogs and randomly so I hope you guys enjoyed it again cheers and I will talk to you in the next video bye guys Thank you. Can I get there?